What is going on guys? Fabrizio Van Marciano here from FabrizioVanMarciano.com. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Van Marciano. Welcome to another Oxygen Builder video guys. Now, it's been a while since I've created any content using Oxygen Builder. And since we're on version 4.01 of Oxygen, I do believe, I thought I'd update some of the videos on my channel, starting with this one. So this video is taken from my brand new complete Oxygen Builder website design video course, which you will find a link to in the description. And we're building out a digital product sales landing page. So we're creating two new sections in this video. One, to display some vendor logos to maybe websites that our digital product is featured on or maybe have been reviewed on. And another section to showcase some of the chapters or uh, features of our digital product. Since this is an ebook, a mock ebook that we're uh, creating a landing page for, it will be the chapters of our ebooks. And so, anyway, let's dive straight onto the screen. I've not said that in a while and get started. Okay, so let's select the second section here. And uh, this has a class of sales page section B. Let's scroll down a little bit. And for this section, I'm going to create a featured in section. Now, this is just going to be a uh, simple column layout to showcase some logos, maybe to websites where our ebook has been featured in or maybe reviewed in, just to add a little bit of authority and credibility to our sales landing page here. So the first thing I'm going to do is with this background here, I'm going to go to advanced and the background and change the color to our, I think I'm going to go for dark, dark blue, like so. And then inside here, I'm going to add uh, an element, which is going to be our column layout here. And I'm going to select the four column layout. All right. So in the first one here, I'm going to simply drop in a text element, and then I'm going to give this a class, which is going to be the main text dark. And then let's change this to read as featured in. Okay. I'm just going to select this div here. And then for the layout of child elements, uh, we're going to go uh, center for horizontal item alignment and also middle for vertical item alignment. Okay, so now I'm just thinking this is quite prominent, as in it's quite bright, and it would be nice if we could just drop the opacity down. But if we do that to this element with the, uh, where is it? Here we go. Main text dark class, it's going to affect basically everything that has this class name. So I'm going to give this a new class. So this is going to be uh, sales page uh, featured text, or let's just use TXT for short. Okay, so sales page featured text add class. And I'm going to copy the main text dark styles from this into our new class name. And now let's just get rid of the main text dark here. And now for this, let's go to advanced and typography. Let's go to our color, which we have primary white. All I'm going to do here is drop the opacity down to maybe 35 pixels or maybe a bit more. 40 pixels. Okay. So inside of these other divs, we're going to feature some made up vendor website logos here. Again, these could be logos to websites that have our ebook featured in maybe a review or interview, or maybe a platform where we're selling our ebook in addition to our sales page here. So let's start with the first one here. And I'm going to go to add element and drop in a simple image. Oops, <laughs> image. Here we go. And now let's just go to image URL, browse, and I'm going to select the first one. So this could be any of these four dummy images that uh, I've created here. And you can download these as well from the step notes if it's not already inside of your media kit, which you should have downloaded at the start of this course. Okay, so I'm going to pick this one here, Jane's journal, select image. That looks pretty cool. And I think what I'm going to also do is give this image a class. So this is going to be sales page vendor images or IMG for short. Okay, sales page vendor image at class. And let's go to advanced effects, opacity, and let's drop that down to 0 0.5 maybe. Okay, yeah, 0 0.5 is fine. And also let's go back to primary. I want to reduce the width of the image to let's try 150 pixels to begin with. 
Okay, that seems okay. We'll leave that as it is for now. And now let's go back to the div block here. We want to set the horizontal item alignment to center and also vertical item alignment to middle. I think we should do the same for these other ones as well. So now we can go back to our image here. Let's duplicate this several times and drag one into each of the other div blocks. And then let's change the image here. So browse, uh, let's use Doze Enterprise. <laughs> and this one can be browse bestsellers. Now again, these are just made up. They're not real companies, but they're just there to give you an example of how this design would look like if we included a nice as featured in section here like this. Okay, so now we have a little bit too much gap at the top and bottom here. So let's go back to this section here. Go to advanced size and spacing. And at the moment, the default is 75 pixels top and bottom. Of course, this is being pulled from the global styles. So all we need to do is override this and just add in, let's try 40 pixels top and bottom. Okay, let's just save this and then uh, close the structure panel and have a look. Yeah, that's nice. I think what I might do is let's just go back to open up the structure panel. I'm going to select one of these div blocks here and I'm going to duplicate it. So we have four and I am going to drop in the other image that I did not use, which was Bob's blog. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty cool. And now just looking at this, maybe we can reduce the size. So let's try 125 pixels. That's a little bit better. And also let's go back to the section. Oops, let's try that again. Advanced size and spacing. We have 40 on the top and bottom. Let's try 30. Okay, that's cool. I don't wanna to focus too much on this section. Let's just save and we'll call it a day for this one. But before we move on to the next section here, I'm just going to quickly rename some of these in here. So let's save and now let's collapse all and let's just open up the featured section once more. Have a quick look what this looks like as seen in Jane's journal, does enterprise. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's move over to section three down here. And what we're gonna do in here is add a what's included feature. So I'm gonna rename this to what's included section. Okay, and uh, let's begin with a div block. And this will have a class of, let's go back here and have a look, sales page div. Yeah, sales page div, add class. And let's make this 100% in width. Yeah, that is it. Because by default, the layout of child elements is always gonna be vertical. So inside of this, we're going to add a simple heading element followed by a text element. Now let's change the heading to read what's included. And the text, this could just read Again, just completely making all of this up. So let's go back to the div block, layout of child elements, vertical, and then horizontal item alignment center, vertical item alignment, middle. We're also gonna add a gap of, I think 30 pixels. Maybe that was a little bit too much. Let's drop that down to 20. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's go back to the heading. And for this, I want to see what we have for headings, uh, hero heading, post heading, mm, okay. So sales page heading, sales page heading. We have that class. Of course we have that class. We used it up here. But what if we wanted a different color? Let's go for sales page heading B then. Add class. Okay, so now we can just uh, delete sales page heading from here. And now we can just style this one. So first of all, this is gonna be a different color entirely. So I'm gonna select our dark, dark blue. And down here, for tag, we want to select H2. And also, I'm gonna to go to advanced typography, and for line height, I'm gonna reduce that down to 1.2, and that is fine, the rest of that is fine. Now, this is probably styled a little different from the subheadings that we've created for previous pages, but you know what, it doesn't matter. Uh, one more thing I wanna add inside of this div block is my little mini divider, so I'm gonna use my code block element once more, Go to PHP and HTML and replace this with my HR tag. Again, we've already styled this in a previous video. 
Uh, if you want to watch that video again, I will link to it in the step notes. Here we go. Beautiful. Right, so that is this part sorted. And I think I'm just going to reduce the gap here to 10 pixels. Okay, so let's go back to our section here. And inside of this section, I'm going to go to add element and drop in a column layout. And this time we're going to select a three column layout. And I think I'm going to drag this inside of this div block. Okay, let's drag the text element above the column layout. Yeah, that's fine. So let's go to the first div block inside of this column layout. And inside here, I'm going to drop in yet another div. And this is going to have a class of, let's have a look what we can use. Okay, so let's use a sales page div here. Let's go up here, sales page div, which we've already created for this. So I'm going to have sales page div B, although this isn't actually A. Sales page div B at class. Page width, 100%. And then I'm going to go to advanced borders and add a six pixel border radius. Go back to advanced effects, box shadow, and add a shadow color, which is going to be quite dark. So let's go down here. And now for all of these sliders here, I'm going to just slide them all the way down. So that is the shadow horizontal offset, vertical offset, shadow blur and shadow spread. Now for the shadow blur, I'm going to increase that to 10. And also the shadow spread, maybe around five or four or three. Yeah, three. And now let's go back to color. And for the opacity, let's just reduce that so that it is very subtle. 25. Yeah, that's nice. One more thing I'm going to do is go up here to state, select hover, go back to advanced, effects, transform, add transform, transform type, scale, and then I'm going to put in 1.02, 1.02, and 1.02. Let's go back up here to state and select the original. And let's just test that. Yep, that's fine. Now we've used this effect quite a few times. And that is because I like it. <laughs> We also need a transition here. So let's go back to advanced effects, transition, drop it down to 0.3. Lovely. Okay, so that is it. We're done with this. Now, inside of this div block, uh, first of all, I want to go to primary and set the layout of child elements to vertical, and then horizontal item alignment left, and vertical item alignment middle. So now we can add some elements inside here. So I'm going to start with a heading followed by a text element. Actually, I'm not going to include the heading, so I'm going to delete the heading. I'm just going to have a text element, but I'm also going to go back here and add an icon. Okay, so let's just drag the icon above the text like so. Now I need to go back to the div block here because one thing that I've forgotten to add is some padding inside. So advanced size and spacing and padding, I'm going to go for 25 pixels and apply all. Okay, so let's try 20 pixels. Okay, better. So for the icon, let's go up here and give this a class and this can be sales page icon add class and this is going to be just main text. Beautiful. For the text, I want to highlight it all here and select align left. For the icon, let's go back to this one. And the icon color can be our light blue. The icon size, 32 pixels, or maybe a bit more than that. Let's try 42 pixels. And then icon set will be linear icons. And then I'm going to change this to anything here. Okay, so this can be a house. And for here, I'm going to use some dummy text. So I'm just going to copy this here. Hopefully it doesn't copy the class with it. It shouldn't. Okay, that's fine. Let's just remove some of this. Yeah, I think that's cool. I think I'm going to reduce some more of the text here. I only want two lines of text. So now let's just select the div block with the icon and text element as child elements and come up here to duplicate it. And then I'm going to drag this into the other column. And then let's repeat. And yeah, that looks pretty cool. Now we can change these icon to something else. This can be a building. And this can be a moon. Let's just save. 
And so now what we want to do is go back to the div block here. Let's go up here in the breadcrumbs. So we have the div block selected. This is the outside div. So the one on the outside here. And then we have our column. So the column we want to duplicate. So we have two rows. Okay. So let's change the icons for the other ones here. This can be a sun. This can be that. <laughs> and this can be this. Okay. So again, this section here, you could use this to highlight some of the features of your digital product or your ebook. Maybe these could be individual chapters and whatnot. Okay. So I think I'm just going to leave that as it is for now. Let's just save. And then let's just create another section. So I'm just going to collapse all here. And then we have our section here, which we haven't used yet. And this already has a class of sales page section D. And so inside here, I want to add some testimonials for our digital product. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are brand new to my channel, do check out some of my older Oxygen Builder videos. They are a few years old now, but they're still very valuable. However, I am in the process of updating most of them, not all of them, because I have some new content coming up, not just for using Oxygen Builder, but also other website builder tools. If you want to check out my complete Oxygen Builder website design video course, again, I will have a link in the description. It is a course for beginners and intermediates packed with a ton of value, lots of topics, uh, lots of detailed video lessons, as well as resources, source codes, and uh, bonus lessons and all the rest of it. Okay, so guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about me, head over to my website at fabriziovanmarciano.com. But until the next video, take it easy and peace. Cheers.